Have you started uh, making contact with the North Europe Reference Library? So I went up and visited their new, I can't even remember what they call it, but like it's some kind of like design studio. They have all these really awesome um, like programmable sewing machines and a like big embroidery machine and so on. And, um, and the library has actually already approached us about the idea that maybe a piece of Maker Festival should be at the North York Library on the same weekend. And I don't know if that's really quite workable, but I think that we're going to talk about it and see if something is possible. Yeah. Or a subway. Well, or, yeah, or the go subway. to North York subway, explore subway. Yeah. I feel like you can easily convince the GCC to give you a couple free buses, but giving like free subway passes in your order. Yeah. Yeah. So I I would like to do something. Like I I'm in general very supportive of the library doing interesting, fun things. And I think this could be an interesting fun thing. I didn't I think yeah, I didn't <clears throat> North York Library, they have the thing, they, like they're into sewing machines, and maybe they have a, sp a particular expertise or a particular niche where they're interested. So you could sort of say, well, this this one theme is up here, and the other themes are there. So you could have those yeah. that are interested in the one theme to maybe stay there, and those that want to, they have that subway ride. I mean, uh, I mean, if you're running out of space and you have an offer of space, then maybe we should take it. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Yeah. There also is the, the water feature in the Latin Square, which is just outside, and they have an amphitheater. Yeah, there's all kinds of possibilities there. I toured around. There's, there's definitely space for quite a number of exhibitors. Um, they have like a, a kind of a lobby, which actually is similar to the atrium at the reference library, where they have the same like white balconies. Like it must have been the same architect. It must have been, yeah. And, uh, and as you say, there's a bunch of outdoor space. and. I know Moriana did the downtown one. I think Moriana did the downtown Okay. The North York and the Reference Library were done by the same architect. Same architect. Yes. It has to be. If you go, the similarities are unmistakable. They, they just did a big reno, which changed the look of it a little bit, and, and that was clearly a different architect. Like, they have these weird steps now, which are clearly of a totally different design. But, yeah, the, the similarities are unmistakable. So, yeah, I think... We're going to figure it out. The library is certainly keen to do something, and um, they have, they actually reorganized in um, late 2017. They used to have, well, it doesn't really matter what they used to have. Um, what they have now, at the highest level, there's like the city librarian, and then there's two divisions under her. There's kind of like a ops division, which actually is responsible for running all of the existing buildings and all the library services. And then there's now a new innovation division, which is responsible for um, prototyping, testing, and rolling out new ideas of what the library can become for the 21st century. And this division um, now has substantial resources and ability to fund projects, including staffing costs. And so um, this year, for the first time ever, the library actually had staff in the innovation hub. In fact, I, can, I have a photo of it. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw. At the reference library, they have this innovation hub. And uh, in year 20, it'll, it'll be one of these. And uh, in the hub this year, they actually had librarians. Is it, there it is right there. They had librarians running this awesome game. Can I maximize this? Yeah, so they had these um, LED um, pixel strips. And then each strip is hooked up to an Arduino, and their Arduino is hooked up to a joystick. And then it's like a it's like a one dimensional dungeon crawler game. So you move your pixel along, and there's like you're you're like a little blue pixel, and there's like little red pixels, and you got a button, and you can fire a gun. And then it gets successively more difficult. There's like orange arrays that are like you know quicksand or whatever, and you got to like do all kinds of things. But anyway, this was cool because, as I said, librarians got paid to work on this and paid to staff it for the duration of the festival, which is the first time that has ever happened previously this hub would sit with its um, normal feature, which is just like basically a bunch of computers with design software on them and some 3D printers. And you know, it, didn't, it wasn't activated for the festival. So it's cool that they have money to activate it. And I think it makes the idea of like if, if the library is willing to themselves do things at the North York Library, that already provides something interesting for people to go see. 
And then, as you say, if we can bump a bunch of our exhibitors up there, too. Well, again, it makes it easier if you can do it thematic. So if you can say we have this number of exhibitors in this theme, yeah. and they're up there. And yeah, you'd like to be in one space, but you work with what you have. Well, it's one. If the place is a zoo, if the, t if the reference library is a zoo, this is something that, to me personally, is if it's too much of a zoo, I kind of don't want to be in yeah. there. Yeah, and that's certainly something that I was busy. thinking heavily about this it's, year is like, how crowded is it going to be? There's a place for it being too busy, yeah. and there's people who thrive on it, and it's too busy. People who don't. Yeah. It's rather have it quieter. Um, maybe it's time for a mini maker festival? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guess we'll just spawn them all over the city. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I had I did a lot of thinking this year about um, crowding because, like I said, this was the first year, 2018, where I knew that my the physical footprint that I control is the same, like square footage, and that what that meant is if if more people came, it would be more people divided by the same area, therefore more crowded, right? And and so that was one reason we had Vicky on um, experience design this year to think a lot about like where are the crowd points going to be and how can we distribute things more evenly and I think it did work like this year despite the fact that we actually had about the same number of people it actually felt less crowded this year than it was last year and I think it's up to down to Vicky's work mostly and so I hope that we can continue to do that but also realistically we may need to expand our footprint by going to other buildings like, what, was it smaller tables or something? Or? No, I, I think, uh, I mean, some of it was thinking carefully about the pathways that people would take and, like, signing that a little better so that people's experience could be more efficient. Um, other, another piece of it, too, was making the atrium even more empty than it had been in previous years. So this year we only had basically five things in the atrium whereas in previous years we'd had like seven or eight things and you know in the in the first year we had like 30 exhibitors and and that I think really helps to like th that creates your kind of initial experience of the festival as not being that crowded which has its own I was talking to Scott about this has its own weird downsides like if you get in and it's not crowded then it's not it doesn't seem like there's quite the level the same level of excitement but on the other hand it's also not as crowded right so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and then um, she also um, had a program where um, people who needed special assistance could actually have guides to take them through the library. So, you know, like people who had, um, you know, in wheelchairs or whatever. And also she had a, what are they called, strollers, you know, with the kids. Yeah. She had a whole, like, stroller check program so that... Um, parents wouldn't be necessarily pushing the strollers through the festival, and I think that actually helped quite a bit. Yeah. And it's, it, it was just like a sum of a lot of little things like that, each of which I don't think made a huge difference, but like in aggregate, I think really did. <laughs>